Hi guys, let's take a jump into another beautiful place over here. One, two, up. Ooh. That was a really short jump just <laughs> to the driveway up front of the house we are staying, guys. Good morning. Taking a short walk today because, guys, I already did a YouTube show with Hard Falking and Lisa and Edwards. I'm going to edit a part of the show into this one, of course, and I'm going to talk a little bit about Bitcoin and some other cool news I read this morning early already at 6 o'clock here in beautiful Alicante, Spain. Like you saw, guys, Bitcoin above 12K. This is exactly what I was saying the last couple of videos are we going to close this weekly candle above 11,500 US dollar in Bitcoin this will be a very positive sign if we closed that candle we did close the candle above 11,500 US dollar and we are now hovering around 12,000 US dollar price in Bitcoin some of the people are still telling me Didi we are going down to fill the CME gap around 9,700 I don't care anymore Bitcoin went up to 12k it is exactly what I thought would happen i even think that we can dip again back to 10,500 or 10k yes all possible but if you zoom out you will understand we are going to see 13k maybe even 14k and maybe even 16k before the end of this year and that is exactly what i've been sharing all these weeks in the charts that we were going to see bitcoin rebounds to all these kinds of fibonacci retracement levels we are we already saw on the chart a few months ago we are going to see 13k we are going to see 14k and i think we are going to see 16k maybe even 18k before the end of this year and then yes we will again have a healthy pullback and this pullback will bring us all the way down maybe to 10,500 again and if we will be able to keep that support 10,500 because that was the resistance we have been fighting for more than half, one and a half year do you remember this big red line I showed on the chart that resistance became support and if this 12k level now can become support I'm even more happy guys but because it is Monday guys I will leave up the charts to Lisa so let's take a jump into a seat so we can look at Lisa's charts one two three there we go. Whoa. Whoa. perfect view here this is where I'm doing the show with Lisa and Sean and then of course I will walk you around to talk a little bit more about blockchain Bitcoin and life hey 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 hey, 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 hey. Good. Morning. <laughs> Didi, what's wrong with you guys? No dodgy um, fake backgrounds this week. The audience will be very disappointed. <laughs> yes. And no, no hula hoop either. Yeah, I, I wanted to show you the real background and I just had my oh, wife next to me. So I, I wanted to show Lisa, my second wife, but yeah, now she's <laughs> gone already. So. <laughs> Have you been doing or have you been following Lisa's trade steady so you can afford a afford some more wives? Is that what's happening? Well, exactly what is happening. I'm 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 following Lisa's trades and she's even helping me with some trades here and there, uh, which was already uh, affording me to buy this villa and the pool and a camper van. And I think I think this trade of the week now, today, I I, I don't know sure, but I think that if I'm going to follow the three trade of the day. Today, I think I will be able to buy my rocket to the moon. Yeah. I thought you yeah. were going to say another wife, but a rocket to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> rocket to the moon is probably I, a better thing. Because, yeah. because I fancy alien women as well. So I want an alien wife. Maybe that's better to say. Right? Okay. Well, good to know we will be covering aliens again in the show. There was a, <laughs> lots of more alien chat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at some dildos, hey? Should we uh, jump into some charts? Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, yes, Diddy. That's our yeah, that's our yeah, content, content people. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably that. probably not that kind. It's like <laughs> This is my very, very extremely messy chart. It's like, oh my goodness. Can, can we understand what's happening here? This is Moby and his spout just blew. 
<laughs> so, Moby, but Moby it, Dick spouts blue. <laughs> Okay, we've yeah. set the tone. Very good. <laughs> yeah, so Moby Dick spouts blown. And we're now sitting at a resistance. So I'm, I've put some bait out for Moby Dick. And um, I've told him that he needs to impress me a little bit more because I'm not impressed. And uh, basically, we've hit a resistance. And we're sort of, you know, we're going a little bit sideways, sort of down at the moment, which kind of happens when we get to a resistance we don't want to go too far down um what we want to do is go into this region let's move some of these words here and we'll put some squiggles we want so we're down here we want to go up in this region sort of like that and then blast off with a green candle up to our bitcoin star so that's the ideal. So we want to get to around sort of three and a half, 13 and a half, not three and a half, 13 and a half um, thousand here uh, before we have kind of a, a deeper correction. So on this correction, um, it'll, it'll probably be quite fast. Uh, it'll be like this sort of thing here happening um, where we'll probably come down. So we could even go quite deep with this. So this is a, you know, a $2,000 candle within this range. There's a possibility, um, that this might not be the end here that we, we could continue up past. So we've got our Bitcoin rocket here. Um, but we've also got a, you know, a couple of higher targets on this chart up here so if we get some FOMO kicking in we could even you know if we reach our our next technical pivot which is 13855 um, that puts us in to a $16,000 run um, yeah so that's that's kind of the area that we want to hit we want to hit uh, this 13k range we want to hold this range here now in a, a fairly sort of strong bull flag sort of formation and um, and then head up. So we're we're fueling our rocket with bear tears because under a resistance, they are they all short. So we we want them to get very comfortable here with a, a tight sort of correction, and then and then take it up. And and that's kind of what I see happening at the moment. So we had um, last night. I tweeted out this chart. We had a, a very pivotal range that we needed to hold on the weekly which we've done so we had not broken through uh this range here since uh so this is uh january 2018 and then previous to that was um on our run to our all-time high that we'd even broken this region so you can see that we've got wicks we don't have any solid candles we've always come through we've like you know hit these points and then wick straight down so it's not unlikely that that would happen again but the the key here is once we get to our upper target on our five we want to hold this 11 7 so you know i if i was a betting person which i am obviously because i'm a crypto trader i'm going to have some orders sitting down here at 11 700 ish uh Maybe, maybe a little bit lower for the wick. And uh, because I think once we get to this five, we're going to wick down quite um, sort of violently. We're going to have that tidal wave um, as opposed to our normal waves, wiping out all the traders and, and, and then shooting back up again. So that, that's kind of what I'm seeing right now at the moment on BTC. So we've got some really nice movement in the chart. Um, we, we are at that point where we're sitting in line with our, our high, our recent high. And, you know, we're still in the five wave pattern here of the, the third wave. So and once we come down for this fourth wave, we'll have a, a little bit more correction. Uh, it'll feel like we're trading within this sort of, you know, 12,800 to 11,700 range for another week or so. And, and then we'll start moving up higher. But one, once we get to this next, um, next sort of uh, pivot up here where the five is, we need to be really careful, like continuously pushing up those stops because that we're gonna, we are going to get that tidal wave. If you look at this chart, 
this is a chart by Glasner. If you look at this thermal cap ratio, which is a, a to keep it simple, it's the amount of uh, money that miners are making. If you look at the last bull runs, you saw the thermal cap going insane here in 2012, uh, 11, 12, 13, you see the peak. In 2014, you see this peak. In 2018, you see this peak. We see even this peak in 2019. We are now here. Right. We are not, we are not peaking out in Bitcoin price at all. You know, the miners are not making money. So, so I think this is is a combination of that um, most of these projects they don't use miner there is not mine will reach these highs of 16,000 I think we will only be here with this thermal mm. cap ratio we could go to here you know but we didn't hear exactly. the trade of the week is there a trade of the week this there is, is a great. trade of the week yes Give yes we have what not want. what would you do without me guys god damn <laughs> I don't know dude. I really don't know <laughs> I need to find it now Finally, we have a perfect threesome. <laughs> My trade of the week is fun. So we're going to have some fun with some fun. fun so now, yeah, there's a blast from the past. It is, yeah. and it's it's a really exciting chart because it's had such a deep, deep, deep correction. And um, I was reading some stuff the other day and it is just starting to get some huge development here. And, um, you know, obviously there's, there's a lot of casino coins at the moment. Um, so our trade of the week uh, was win a couple of weeks ago and it did 100% over the weekend. Yeah, so Funfair is a really cool looking chart, like at the moment, just um, with how it's corrected and, you know, the it, it's sort of, it's moving to resistance points. So, you know, it, it's corrected quite deep, um, which is not unusual for like anything in this market. <laughs> if you're just entering it now, it's yeah. really exciting because we've True. got this flat pattern that's just starting to curl up. And this is what yeah. all of these charts are. And this is, you know, the exciting thing about this. We've got, before we even get to this um, resistance here, we've got 230%. And, and all Monster. right, fun fair, one to watch. Some really cool other numbers, guys. Bitcoin is now almost as big as the Bank of America. Bitcoin just reached a market cap of like 220 billion US dollars. The Bank of America has a market cap of 226 billion dollars. So we need another five billion dollar and bitcoin is bigger than the bank of america we are disrupting the banking system like we already said years ago that was the goal and the goal is slowly coming closer and closer and closer to give you another indication bitcoin is now as big as netflix or at&t these are huge mainstream companies and the bitcoin market cap is now as big as these companies market cap so please don't underestimate bitcoin it is becoming one of the biggest industries in the world so don't miss out on this beautiful evolution of technology that will be a huge social economic revolution of the monetary system do get into bitcoin yesterday just i wanted to buy a hamster i promised her when we will arrive in spain at her parents-in-law i will buy you a hamster because she loves to have these tiny animals into a cage i don't know why but jessa loves them all kids love them i think so i needed to buy a hamster then jolie stepped in she also wanted to have a hamster so i promised them let's go to the store and buy you guys a hamster but i will only buy it if we will pay it with bitcoin so they were like but the store is not going to accept bitcoin no of course probably this pet store is not going to accept bitcoin but the pet store is going to accept our bitsa card and this bitsa card was given to us last time when we were in spain by louis vallo who was the ceo of bitsa at that time he became now the ceo of binance spain really good friend of me so he gave us these bitsa cards last time when we visited the bitsa office so i told the kids we are going to pay it with this bitsa card because that is also education to my followers on how we pay stuff if you can't pay directly with bitcoin so let's take a look and how we bought these hamsters we went into this beautiful store i think it's called la jupe it's a huge shopping mall in alicante so we needed to walk in there but 
we needed to wear a face mask and then you get it of course i don't like these face masks i don't like wearing these face masks they are just not my thing i don't think they are helping against the flu i think they are ridiculous i think it's strange to see that all over europe every country has its own rules you know if you keep a social distance of one and a half meter why would you need to wear a face mask and if you need if you wear a face mask why would you need to social distance one and a half meter because then you're doing a double thing i respect everybody's opinion so everybody needs to do what they want everybody that wants to wear a face mask please wear it i will respect it and if i don't want to wear it please respect me not wearing it and if you see me not wearing it just keep a social distance of two meters then you don't need to be afraid that i will give you this flu where everybody is afraid of so let's skip to the next subject because i don't want to talk about this negative stuff in my videos too much I went into the store and I filmed the kids and then you see these faces of my children when they see the first rabbit when they f see the first hamster caviar or whatever you call all these animals they melt away they are like ah oh, so sweet oh daddy can I have two or three or four no I promised you each got one they both chose these hamsters like tiny tiny hamsters we went to the cash register and we needed to pay and we tried to pay with this bitsa card and of course we succeeded it's very easy it's you just paid with bitcoin so you can pay touchless is you just hold your card above this machine like you hold your banking card or any other credit card and you hear peep your payment is done you get your receipt and you just paid with bitcoins at a store that normally doesn't accept bitcoins yes i understand that it is not completely the same as paying with bitcoins because the store is receiving euros but it is a step in between what is the name fluffy or gigi or bitsy mr bitcoin Gigi Mr. Fluffy. Litecoin, Mr. Ethereum, Fluffy. Yeah. How did you pay for the hamsters? With the Bitsack card. Is that with Bitcoins? Yeah. We are using the cards now. I think cryptocurrency in the whole will be the evolution of money and will be the next step in money. So in the near future, we all will be paying with cryptocurrencies. I don't care which cryptocurrency we are going to pay with as long as this cryptocurrency is decentralized and is reachable and usable for everybody in the whole world. So also for the poor people that don't have a bank account. This is the main goal of cryptocurrency becoming a peer-to-peer -peer cash and maybe yes in the Netherlands they will use Verge and maybe yes in America they will use Litecoin and maybe yes here in Spain they will use Bitcoin I don't really care which cryptocurrency people are going to use as long as this cryptocurrency is decentralized unconfiscatable and usable by everybody in the world so also the poor people of the world that don't have a bank account I am just very thankful that Bitcoin is changing the world, has changed our family's lives tremendously. It had a huge influence on the life we are living at the moment. I think Bitcoin had a huge influence at the lives of many people that are following me. That is exactly why I want to thank you for always watching my videos, for giving these videos a thumbs up, smashing the thumbs up of two days ago's video, because that smashing of that thumbs up makes me now to do a somersault into the pool because yes I promised if the video would get 500 thumbs up I would do a somersault into the pool wearing my clothes I am going to do this I'm very happy we didn't reach thousand thumbs up because then I would have need to throw a kid into the pool with their clothes on I don't think they would be have happy kids when their father would have done this early in the morning so I'm going to do it myself I'm going to walk back now to the house put the camera there on the floor I'm going to take a run and jump with a somersault into the pool out of happiness that bitcoin broke 11,500 us dollar that bitcoin broke 12k that bitcoin's weekly candle coast closed above 11,500 that bitcoin completely changed my life my family's life and many other people's lives in the world i'm going to do this jump in the pool because i'm just a very happy long-haired dude because i stepped into this industry where all these people 
are trying to disrupt the monetary system on a very harmful, peaceful way. I just love this industry and I love what Bitcoin just did. And that exactly, guys, is the reason I am now going to jump into the pool. And guys, if you really like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your communities, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every other strange somersault I will make into the pool. And always remember, please to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again if I survive this somersault. And please don't forget to buy the trade of the week fun fair because the last trade of the week made also like 30%. So yeah, it's a quick buck on the beautiful Monday morning. See you tomorrow again. Bye. Woohoo!